hello guys in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you different ways you can display events on your wordpress website okay so basically we're going to be using short codes because um woocommerce event manager is built to work with short codes okay so in this video i'll show you the different parameters and how you can display um, event lists on your pages or on your posts okay so if you go over to demo.thincode.com slash mage event you're going to see a few samples of these so depending on the short code that you're adding you're going to be getting a different layout okay so there are different layouts we have grid we have lists and there are different structures you could have like one full uh width uh event you could have uh grid and different kinds of um layouts here okay so I'm going to show you how you can do any of these and achieve exactly what you want. So first off, let's understand how short codes are structured. So you start a short code with event hyphen list. Okay. So every other thing you're seeing here, these are just uh, parameters. Okay. They just help you to get like an exact uh, look. So the first one here is cut. So cut simply means um, category. So if you created a category and you just want a um, events from a specific category to display via a short code you're just going to type in the category id so you right type in event list category and you add in uh event id here so i'm just going to give an example of this i'm going to create a few dummy events and i'm going to resume the video okay guys i've created uh different events so we have about six different events now and i'm going to assign the first three of these to a category okay so i'm just going to use the bulk editor and i'm going to select offline events okay and i'm going to update this and now as you can see these three events now have the category of offline events so if I want to display just events from this specific category, I'm just going to add in the category ID in my uh, parameter here. Okay, so let's do that right now. Let's create a new page and we're going to add this short code there. So I'm going to grab the short code over here and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, and I'll add a last... Uh, a closing square bracket for this so the, the way the category works is you need to add uh, ID okay so we need to add the category ID for this um, filter to be able to get uh, post from a specific category so we go back to um, our dashboard and you click on category and under here you're gonna see cut ID okay so just copy the cut ID so this is 18 I'm just gonna copy that and let's just type it in here and okay so let's preview this and see how it looks so as you guys can see it's only bringing out the first three posts okay so category is very useful when you want to display uh, events from just a specific uh, category that you've created okay so the next thing here is org so if you want to display events from a specific organizer you can also do that with this plugin so we're just going to go back to a dashboard and click on organizers and let's see all right we have one organizer and the org id is what 16. so we copy the org id and i'm just going to change this from cat to uh, org okay org and i'm going to paste in the id so let's preview this and see how it looks also all right so this is basically bringing out all the posts because every single post has a single organizer which is on slow venue okay so you can also sort by organizer you can sort by category so basically these two uh, parameters are just used for sorting your posts your events okay next up we have style so you can actually change the style of uh, the display here by default this gives you a grid um, style but if you want to use something like list all you have to do is add in style and type in list okay so I'm just gonna get rid of this 
and I'm gonna paste this so let's see how that changes the view okay so now as you can see this is now in a list view so I didn't add an image to the demo events so that's why there's no image here but by default this is supposed to display an image okay so that's what style is for we also have cat filter which simply gives you an option to filter the number of events or the displayed events on the display page by categories okay so you can do that for categories you can do that for organizations also okay so we have org filter we have um, cat filter so it just essentially groups the gives like an extra bar which allows you to sort by categories and sort by organizations so you go with one of these and you can also go with both of these if you want to okay so it's very very easy to use and it gives you more granular control over how you want your events to be sorted by uh, we also have show and we also have pignation for pignation this is essentially if you have uh, a lot of events that span across different pages so if you add pignation and you say yes it's gonna add um, uh, pignation below your events so you could go to second page third page and fourth page and so on okay and we also have column so this is essentially um, allowing you to create to control the number of columns okay so basically the grid gives you like three columns where you can extend that if you want so you just type in column and add the number of columns that you want okay so these are just uh, short codes that have been configured to look uh, to have um, specific views style also allows you to use minimal you could use native you could use list you could use grid so there's a lot of different options that goes with that so if you go over to the match event uh, documentation page you're going to see a lot of examples over here so you can just copy this and paste the show parameter allows you to specify a total number of events that you'd like to display okay so if you add show nine it's only going to display nine events and you could combine different kinds of parameters you could combine columns categories um, organizer so you really have granular control over every single thing okay so you only display what you want and you only you make everything can be configured to display the way you want it for you could make the style minimal and it's going to give you minimal style okay so it's very very easy to use and uh, very very user friendly so i hope you guys found this video useful um, if you have any questions you can ask via the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.